WF Kumuyi. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody, praise the Lord. The Almighty God is here with us. Jesus Christ, Savior, Master, Lord, Healer, Mountain Remover, is here tonight. And you are here. And he is here for you. Your life will turn around tonight in Jesus' name. Where are you? Say, I am here. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. What a glorious God, merciful God, powerful God you are. Lord Jesus, we bend the knee. We bow the heart and we give ourselves to you tonight. Holy Ghost, we pray that you'll work in every life and transform every life. Make the word profitable in every heart tonight over here, Lusaka, Zambia. And in all the countries of Africa, all the countries and continents of the world, oh Lord, I pray your word will reach out to everyone tonight in a very miracle working way in Jesus' name. Yeah. Magnify the name of Christ, the power of the Holy Ghost and the anointing that breaks every yoke. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Another amen before you sit down. We're coming to Mark chapter 2. From Mark chapter 2, we're looking at a story there. A story that could become your story tonight. It talks about Christ. Talks about his preaching. Talks about a man that was totally paralyzed, incapacitated, totally sick, completely down, hopeless. And there were four men that saw the man they knew the man and they said this man must have a definite miracle and there was no way that the man could have a healing miracle a deliverance miracle that he could have a spiritual miracle except christ the christ the son of god the messiah the master of all situations no way this helpless man can be held no way this hopeless man could have hope except through the lord jesus christ and they heard that jesus was in town just like you have heard that something great something wonderful is taking place here and you have come you will not be disappointed i will not be disappointed and the four men brought him by the time they brought him there's a great crowd and they couldn't get in to get the man to the presence of Christ but they had faith in God and faith in Christ that if they could get the man to the very presence of Christ in his presence there's power in his presence there is healing in his presence there's deliverance and everything you need will get in his presence is he present here tonight oh yes because he said what two or three are gathered in my name there i am in the midst of them is by your side there he is omnipresent and whether you are online or you are in a congregation or you are here at the alpha location christ is there with you and that christ will do a miracle in your heart in your life in your body he'll do a miracle tonight in jesus name when they couldn't get to him they went up to the roof of the house and they made a passage 
for the man they picked up the man and they dropped him in the very presence of christ and jesus saw something he saw their faith faith is the faith we have in the lord that he cannot fail that what he was before he is today and he is forever and he says when he saw their faith he said son he called him son because just coming to the presence of christ makes a change a change from being a sinner to a son the son that comes by faith it says your sins be forgiven thee one miracle forgiveness of sin freedom from sin total liberation from sin thy sins be forgiven thee and then secondly he said get up take up your bed and walk and the man immediately stood up and began to walk all the powerlessness everything went away all the sickness and the pain everything went away he got his second miracle the miracle of healing this is what we are talking about tonight my topic to you tonight is double miracle through definite faith in the son in the son of god in jesus christ double miracle definite faith miracles are linked to faith faith in christ faith in the power of christ faith in what christ had done on the cross of calvary double miracle through definite faith not a hanging faith not a supposed faith and not a superficial faith definite the faith you place on christ the faith you put on christ the faith that you pin on christ and you say christ i know will work a miracle in my heart in my life and all around me today he'll do for me he'll do for him he'll do for her when you have that definite unshakable undoubting faith unwavering faith in the lord that definite miracle that definite faith will provide you the double healing and the double miracle and the double supernatural manifestation we're looking at today the topic again double miracle through definite faith in the sun we're looking at this message under three perspectives number one the four with fortitude and steadfastness of commitment these four men they went to the man they said we know you can't do this by yourself you can't get up you can't move you can't get to christ the savior the healer will help you there is the human part there is something we have to do so that we can get to the place of christ and he will do what we could not do these four men i'll tell you about them the ad fortitude the arch steadfastness in their commitment to see the man get to the presence of christ number two is the faith for forgiveness and salvation through christ the faith we have in him the faith we have in god for forgiveness in that forgiveness they say lord connected with that you will not have contact with heaven except there is forgiveness from heaven you will not have your name in the book of life in the register of heaven except you have forgiveness from heaven you will not have freedom from what had bound Adam, Eve, Abel, 
came everyone that ever came to the world they say come on a sin that had bound everyone they say come on impossibility in the life of everyone that came to this world in the life of everyone in a great country here in the life of everyone in all the great countries of the world that sin you'll not have release from that sin and you will not have freedom from that sin except this forgiveness comes from heaven and you have the salvation of the Lord the faith for forgiveness and salvation through Christ number three is the force of faith is the power of faith is the action of faith it is the sign the wonder the miracle of faith in the savior for your kill he kills us he'll kill you he, he'll kill you tonight i said it will kill you tonight it will heal you it will deliver you because it's still the same yesterday and today and forever we're talking about the christ who saves the christ who heals let's come to number one number one the four with fortitude the four men with fortitude with strength and they had the strength to take the man the passion to take the man the desire to have the man in the very presence of christ the four with fortitude and steadfastness of commitment and looking at mark chapter 2 we're looking at verse 3 it says in verse 3 and they come unto him there's no other person to go to if you are asking for forgiveness if you are asking for salvation if you are asking for joy if you are asking for a uh, happiness if you are asking you know, for a title for a place if you are asking you know, for the possession of spiritual blessings coming from heaven there's no other person to go to and they knew that and it says they come unto him bring in the seek of the palsy which was born of four which was carried of four which was lifted up by four people it will be wonderful to know the names of uh, the uh, four men that brought the impotent man that brought the diseased man that brought the sick paralyzed man that carried him on a bed one at that corner this at that corner one in the other corner and the fourth in the other corner four of them and I'm, if i were there i would say what's your name what made you to carry the man to the lord jesus christ so he could have a great blessing that nobody on earth could give the man and they would have replied you know what pastor preacher our real names do not matter but the attitude the attribute that define us attributes that define our lives that's the thing that is important and i reply them yes i understand actually your attributes your attitude and what you do actually defines you i could say that's your name what do i see in the four men the name of the first one desire you know if anything is going to lift you up if anything is going to take you and bring you to the presence of christ the name of that thing the name of that inner personality is called desire and that's why you are here today you have a desire you know there is a miracle you need you know there is forgiveness you need you know there is a power you need coming from heaven and you say i'll be there 
I'll be there online. I'll be there. I will listen. I'll brush off every other thing. And I will come to Christ tonight. Number one is desire. But you know, there were four corners on the bench that brought the man on the stretch of lifter that brought the man one corner there one corner there one corner there now if you only hold one corner of that spreadsheet bringing the man it will not work all the others have to carry their corner and they cut the next corner there look at that man is called decision decision you see what brings us to christ what brings us to the solution of our problem desire at that corner decision on this corner and then as they got there they were disappointed a great crowd that they couldn't get into the presence of Christ. But thank God for the third man there. His own attributes, his own nature is called determination. Determination. And as that one was there and he said, no, we'll not give up. We're going to get this man to the presence of Christ. And we're going to have heavenly blessing and miracle for him. And you know they tried. But then they had to carry the man on the roof. And they had to puncture uh, you know, the roof and take it all off. And get the man in the presence of Christ now how could he do that desire how could he do that decision how could he do that determination number four look at the last man there that said i must play my part because if all the three if they carried at the three corners if the fourth corner is not uh, joining along with them they'll not be able to get the man there and that fourth person is called desperation they were desperate show me any man that starts coming to christ with a desire and there are obstacles in the way there are challenges in the way he needs to join with that desire number two decision show me man show me a woman show me a young one that says i must get to Christ and I have that desire I have that decision you must bring in determination when you get there you're going to see a sea of heads you're going to see a great crowd and if you are shy if you are timid if you are saying uh, let me wait for that other person if he raises up his hand if he gives his life to Christ maybe I'll have the courage what if you don't see any other person giving their life to Christ you must have that determination that tonight he will be my savior tonight he will be my healer tonight he will open my blind eyes tonight he will change everything changeable in my life tonight the power of God from heaven will have to touch my life and then as the meeting is going on and you came with desire and you came with decision and you came with determination now if you are not desperate you see some things around you there maybe i'll come tomorrow maybe i'll get back home the way i am now i don't think i want to do the unthinkable and get to that place nobody has ever done this how could i do this you must be desperate and it is that desperation that makes you to say today 
I will touch the Lord and the Lord will touch me those are the four men and those are the four characteristics you need the desire the decision the determination and the desperation if you have them thank God you have them I say thank God you have them you will come to the presence of Christ look at verse 4 in verse 4 it says and when they who are the day desire decision determination desperation and when they could not come near unto him for the press for the crowd for the multitude they uncovered the roof where he was and when they remember who they are desire decision determination desperation and when they had broken it up they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay you see all the men all the women that ever came to christ they had all those qualities and as you are coming to christ tonight you need that kind of quality look at jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 and ye shall seek me and find me here is god talking through jeremiah he said if you need forgiveness you shall seek me and find me if you need healing you shall seek me and find me if you need deliverance evil spirits are tormenting your life and you want total complete heavenly deliverance he said if you want deliverance you shall seek me and find me if you want your life to come in a normal way and to fulfill the purpose and the plan that God had made in your life but sin is disturbing you but transgression is diverting your attention from the purpose of living he said if you want a plan the divine plan to be done in your life he shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart there must be a desire there must be a decision there must be a determination there must be a desperation i want him at all costs your whole heart your whole mind your whole concentration and your whole passion comes to it when you shall search for me with all your heart when you do that tonight you'll meet Christ I said tonight you'll meet Christ you'll be your savior you'll be your healer you'll be your deliverer you'll be the one that takes every mountain out of your life tonight come to point number two now point number two we're looking at the faith for forgiveness and salvation through Christ we're coming back to Mark chapter 2 and I'm reading from verse 5 when Jesus saw their faith what how do you see faith when Jesus saw their faith let me ask you let me put another word for instead of that faith how do you see love it says when jesus saw their faith yes he saw faith how do you see love how do you see affection how do you see fortitude those are qualities that they're not tangible they're not physical they're not natural love how do i see love i see love by action from the action from the smile from the laughter from the you know the body the body language i can see the love how do you see somebody's 
attitude i can see their attitude from the way they position themselves and the way they respond and the way they say here am i i come joy joy is something invisible how do i see joy by the action of joy by you know the expression of joy the same way he sees faith by the action of faith look at the man determined look at the man decisive look at the man desirous look at the man in those four corners the spirit from the desire from the decision from the determination from the desperation that is uh, exhibited and known by the one looking at them that's how you saw their faith by not giving up that's how you saw their faith by their expectation that's how you saw their faith by their climb being up there and making removing a tile and lowering the man there that's how you saw their faith anywhere anytime god the almighty says faith faith in action faith in expression he always does the incredible the impossible he always works a miracle now when you have faith that faith will be expressed when you have love that love will be ex will be expressed if you have expectation by the way expectation is what brings realization if you have expectation it will show by your action when jesus saw their faith he said unto the sick of the palsy son thy sins be forgiven thee look at james chapter 2 in james chapter 2 i'm reading from verse 17 so even so faith if it has not works even faith if it has no expression even faith if it has no action is dead being alone is dead a love a kind of love you don't give action to you don't give expression to that love is dead joy any joy that doesn't have expression action that joy is dead affection any affection you don't give any expression to you don't give any action to link up with that affection that affection is dead faith even so faith if it has not works not no action no expression no desire no determination no decision no desperation even so faith if it has not works is dead being alone look at verse 20 in verse 20 but will thou know o vain man <laughs> look at the inspired apostle is saying the people that have faith they say they have faith no action no expression they will not rise up and come to christ they will not express the desire to come to christ they will not take a decision a firm unshakable decision to come to christ he said O vain man they do not have determination and they do not have a mind of their own christ is savior i am coming to christ no they don't have that he says O vain man a man that doesn't understand that faith must have expression faith must have action it says well thou know O vain man that faith without works is dead faith without standing up for christ is dead faith without calling on christ to forgive and to set free would well, you know that that faith is dead faith without an appropriate associated 
action with that faith that faith without works is dead look at verse 26 in verse 26 for as the body without the spirit is dead the body still having some air on the head the body having the sign of ears the body having the mouth the body having the nose the body the legs are not cut off they are there but the body without the spirit and it's the spirit that gives action to the body it's the spirit that gives expression to the body and the body without the expression of the spirit that body is dead it says so faith so called faith so faith without works without appropriate action without appropriate expression without coming 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 until we get to christ the savior and the healer it says so faith without works without action without expression is dead also let's come back now to uh, mark chapter 2 verse 5 in mark chapter 2 verse 5 it says when jesus saw their faith i want to tell you anywhere there is faith in christ there's salvation there's forgiveness but the faith in, uh, somebody said but i had faith and i don't feel i'm forgiven that's dead faith that's faith without desire that's faith without a decision that's faith without determination that's faith without desperation that's faith without the asking and the demanding for a change of life a change of heart anywhere there is faith active faith anywhere there is faith decisive faith anywhere there is faith a clinching faith that clinches to the lord and says i will not leave him he is my savior he is my healer anywhere there is active dynamic faith like that you will hear from the lord's son that's conversion right there that's the transformation right there now you must understand when jesus saw sinners he called them sinners he said to the pharisees you of your father the devil and your children of the devil jesus is the truth but because this man has now come to the presence of christ instead of calling him sinner he called him son tonight he'll call you son i say tonight he'll call you son he'll call you daughter because you have that active faith express faith coming to him he says thy sins be forgiven thee thy sins all of them all the sins together you know when people forgive they have to forgive in isolation you have offended 100 people and one says you are forgiven I but the 99 others they still feel offended you go to the second one please forgive me and then he forgives that's true out of a hundred I bought the 98 and then you go to the one you offended just this year forgive me he forgives you that's good I bought the one you offended the previous year and the previous year and since you are born it's only Christ that can forgive all the sins you committed since you are born until this time and take the guilt away and take all the condemnation away it's only christ now if somebody forgives you here it cannot telephone telephone heaven and say heaven this man here offended me i forgive him the forgiveness of man stops right here on earth the forgiveness of man does not travel to heaven 
but Christ, the Savior, your substitute, the one that died for you. When he says, Son, thy sins be forgiven you, immediately there is joy before all the angels of God in heaven. That forgiveness travels to heaven. You're forgiven. Heaven knows. You're forgiven. The Father knows. You're forgiven. The Holy Ghost knows. You're forgiven. There's a book in heaven. Anytime Christ forgives a sinner and he says, I don't regard you as a sinner anymore. I regard you as a son. I regard you as a daughter. I regard you as a child of God. And the Spirit of God bears witness in your heart to what the Father has done and what the Son has affirmed. Anytime you have that forgiveness through the Son, through the Savior, through our substitute who died for us, the Spirit bears witness on earth in your heart and the angels bear witness there in heaven that's the value of the forgiveness of the lord jesus christ now when a man forgives you maybe you are stolen and you and you say i'm sorry i stole that thing forgive me if he's kind enough merciful enough to forgive you there's something he cannot do he cannot take the nature of the thief out of your heart he cannot transform your life he cannot change your life he can forgive you but the forgiveness is only to say that isolated action i forgive but the man cannot give you the power not to repeat that thing only christ can forgive and set you free that's why he said if the son that's christ if the son that's savior if the son that's a redeemer if the son will set you free ye shall be free indeed it's only christ that can forgive and set free at the same time look at all the people in the bible enoch great man he could not make members of his family go with him in the rapture moses a great man he could not make the members of his the closest people to him he could not give them a change of heart a change of life all the people you can read about they may have good nature they may have um, you know helpful attitude but they could not transform the lives of all the people that came across their way only Christ can say your sins are forgiven and you are set free from all those sins and tonight it will do that for you give me a good amen, amen. tonight as you come with the desire as you come making up your mind with decision as you come and you are determined no other god no other savior no other controller director of my life i am determined he and him alone will be the guide of my life as you are desperate i must have the forgiveness tonight and the guilt and the condemnation tonight they must go and you come to him he will tell you the same thing thy sins be forgiven thee thy sins be forgiven thee I was waiting for Lusaka. Amen. Yeah. It will forgive you tonight. We're coming to number three now. Number three is the force of faith in the Savior for your kill. The force of faith, the power of faith as your savior as the one that comes and he turns your life around and he says all the burden you carry uh, you know what 
sins sin came in into the world sickness also came into the world i challenge you if you could read the first two chapters of genesis there was no sin because of that there was no sickness there was no sin because of that there's no suffering there was no sin when god created adam and eve and because of that there was no disease there was no death even but now in chapter 3 adam and eve allowed sin to come into their lives sin satan in nature their nature became twisted their nature became corrupted satan came to tempt eve and introduce the forbidden fruit and instead of taking God as their only commander they took Satan as their commander because of that their nature Satan entered into their nature and Satan s-i-n satan in nature now made them to do other things that were wrong and job tells us can anything good come out of a sinful defiled man no and so sin came upon everyone and the soul that sinneth it shall die and death passed on on every man and the heralds of death the forerunners of death sickness sickness comes as an herald and he said the final master death is coming but a uh, sin comes ahead and those evil things demonstrate satan in your nature and eventually people struggled and tried but they could not deliver themselves except the lord himself christ the savior christ the healer christ the deliverer christ the mountain mover and when he came everywhere he went he dealt with sickness why because he's the one that can deal with sin therefore he's the one that can deal with sickness he's the one that can remove satan's nature in man is the one that can remove the suffering and the sickness in man and so now it's going to demonstrate that look at mark chapter 2 reading from verse 9 whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy that sins be forgiven thee or to say arise take up thy bed and walk the lord said saving souls easy forgiving people sinners easy setting them free and giving them a change of life easy and then recreating their joints and recreating their bones and telling them rise up and walk easy tonight god will heal you and it's easy all he has to say is first of all that sins are forgiven thee that's why we first of all make the altar call and we say you need to be free from sin so that you have your name in the book of life in heaven and then after that we say you have any sickness lay your hand there raise up the hand and we mention the name of jesus and the mighty powerful name of jesus will clear off every sickness in your body in jesus name amen. lusaka amen. amen 
thy sins be forgiven thee or to say arise take up thy bed and walk look at verse 10 in verse 10 but that she may know that the son of man has power on earth listen to the language listen to the language the son of man has power not just in israel not just in jerusalem not just in judah the son of man has power on earth on earth everywhere in every nation all those who are connected tonight he has power on earth to forgive sins he says to the sick of the palsy look at verse 11 in verse 11 i say unto thee the man of authority the man of anointing how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god the father was with him that one that has authority that has power that has anointing that breaks every yoke from every life is the one that says i the man of authority the son of man the son of god and the one that has all power on earth and in heaven i say unto thee arise he didn't have to touch him his watch alone carries power his watch alone carries authority his word alone conveys healing to the sick his word alone conveys power authority anointing to anyone and everyone that says lord i believe you are my savior i believe you are my healer speak the word only and i will be healed arise take up thy bed you remember this man could not even walk by himself could not stand by himself could not carry his bed and some people even one man could not carry him and the bed when they needed four men and to this man christ said take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house miracle somebody help me shout miracle is coming your way tonight healing is coming to you tonight deliverance is coming to you tonight strength strength from on high power from on high healing from on high deliverance from on high coming to you tonight he said rise up take up that bed it was telling him you couldn't do that before could you know i couldn't do that now do what you could not do he looked at the four men that helped him why it not for these four men i couldn't rise up now do what you couldn't do rise up and i couldn't pick up my bed now christ you have met christ the healer and remember this is faith you must put that faith into action because i believe believe god can heal me all right put that into action i believe jesus is my healer put that into action what if the man had said lord i can't i couldn't look at the four men that's why they brought me here if he had said that his faith will be dead faith but he believes the lord and we're told look at verse 12 in verse 12 and immediately he arose he didn't say i cannot i couldn't that's why they brought me here but now hearing the command of the lord the command of anointing and authority he knew now i can do what i could not do 
you before and when you hear the word that healing is sent to you that deliverance is sent to you and you are told if you couldn't walk before now rise up and walk that's your faith in action you couldn't see before open your eyes and see that your faith in action you couldn't bend before now get up bend up and down up and down and you do that that's your faith in action and anywhere there is faith anytime anywhere a miracle a healing always takes place and immediately he arose and he took up the bed and went hold on arise he arose take up thy bed he took up the bed go and he went forth everything the lord had said he acted it out that's faith in action that's faith in expression and when you come and you act out your faith and you say he has said it is my healer he has said it is my savior express faith active faith and proclaimed faith will bring the healing will bring the deliverance tonight it will happen to you i said tonight it will happen to you and it says immediately he arose he took up the bed and went forth before them all before them all who are the them all the other people that were there some unbelieving that did not disturb his own faith and some belittling him and looking down on him that did not disturb his faith and the pharisees that were there questioning who is this christ who is the debate did not hinder his faith when you come to the point that you know jesus is my savior whatever comments or debate the pharisees were having will not touch your faith they just overlook them and you say i am here for christ i'm not here here for the pharisees or the sadducees all the miracles you need you will carry home in jesus name and then it says before them all in as much as they were all amazed pharisees amazed sadducees amazed israelites amazed all the people that fill the house and they'll be hearing the message of christ all of them amazed and surprised and they glorify God tonight will glorify God on your behalf your darkness will vanish away will glorify God on your behalf as you come as you give your testimony and you say he touched me he transformed me he turned my life around and even angels will glorify God on your behalf heaven and earth will rejoice on your behalf saying we never saw it on this fashion how do we see what we have never seen by faith how do we observe what had never been done in our body in our soul in our mind by faith he saw their faith and because the faith was put into action something happened that we never saw in this fashion before get ready what you have never seen you will now see what you have never known you will now know that the man look at him on the outside made whole look at him on the inside made whole look at his faith what the joy of he received miracle and look at him bubbling with joy and look at him and look at the spring on his feet as he goes back home powerlessness gone helplessness gone hopelessness gone hope has come 
help has come healing has come salvation has come and we're talking about the jesus who did that the same yesterday and today and forever your time has now come I said your time has now come number one the time of your salvation number two the time of your healing let's start with number one it's bouch and eyes closed it's bouch and eyes closed it wants to say to you son thy sins be forgiven thee daughter thy sins be forgiven thee he wants to blot out he wants to cleanse away all the sins you ever committed in your life all the years of your life and all the things you ever did against god in heaven against man on earth he wants to give you forgiveness now and if you want that forgiveness and i know you do you have desire you have decision you have determination you have desperation if you want that forgiveness now anywhere you are raise up your hand forgiveness is coming and with that forgiveness he gives freedom 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 from sin from satan in your nature he gives that freedom anywhere you are lord i'm asking for forgiveness i'm asking for salvation i'm asking for freedom from all my sins here i am raise up that hand raise up that hand if you're raising up your hand you stand up you say i am the man i am the woman i am the boy i am the girl i want salvation i want forgiveness that's right that's right rise up there rise up there the lord is waiting for you that you'll have that forgiveness now because that's what gets your name into heaven because that's what makes christ to rejoice over you that his death at calvary on the cross of calvary was not in vain on your behalf raise up your hands and rise up while you rise up say jesus i come to you i confess my sins to you i want you to forgive me all the sins i ever committed I want you to take away my guilt and my condemnation. I want you to give me the freedom, the deliverance from all those sins that bound my life. I believe you will not reject me. Thank you, Lord. I believe I am forgiven. And there's a change in my heart in my life now i pray your grace will continue with me to live a forgiven life a life that is set free thank you lord i'm praying for you now father in the mighty name of jesus i pray for all those who have given surrendered their lives unto you and i pray according to your mercy according to your promise which will never fail forgive them in jesus name set them free let there be a change a transformation in every heart and every life thank you lord in jesus name we pray god bless you the lord has done it we'll call on our overseer to help us now with this counseling session and after that the second miracle will come your healing is waiting for you wait don't go you'll have your healing tonight in jesus name overseer please come and help now
Okay, sir. Okay. Please, all the counselors, take the names of those people who have given their lives to the Lord. Correct recording of the names. Write in capital letters. And the supervisors will collect everything together. Once they finish where you are supervising, raise up the flag. Let's see that you are done. Please write the name legibly. Clearly, the names you are known with where you stay please write it properly and return those slips to the counselors if you as a counselor you can help them to write those who are not able to write let them write the names properly please do it in capital letters and those of you who are watching online whether by red, uh, television or on social media please help us to click you will see something written under your screen connect with jesus and you click there there will be a form that will pop up you will be able to fill it simply and then submit the name back that will enable us to help you those of you at the alpha location here don't forget Three o'clock tomorrow, we are having lunch hour with Jesus. Just at the room over there where the choir people were practicing, that's where we are going to meet. There will be a lunch hour with Jesus. We'll be able to help you, assist you more, and show you how you can walk in the new path you have chosen. Check up and make sure that you do the correct thing do the needful be here tomorrow those of you online please don't forget connect with jesus you click that on your screen is written there if you click on that it will take you to a form simple form that you will complete and then send it in that will enable us to help you more those on social media please check up what is being written there on that particular link connect with jesus you'll be able to get the form that will be completed it's a simple form you complete it submit it back and uh, no movement you just wait where you are as we finish with the counseling our father in the lord is coming again don't forget you've just done the first thing the second part of the miracle is coming and the uh, launch with jesus in all the locations across the globe you would be informed where you are going to meet to be able to have that and uh, we are having a program which you must not miss for the new converts launch with jesus tomorrow those who gave their lives to the lord jesus christ yesterday and today we'll be meeting you three o'clock in the afternoon at the alpha location here and you will be guided and assisted on the path you have chosen to walk in this new way lunch hour with jesus tomorrow three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, all the counselors please let's be fast and complete the information required of us once you are done please signify let the supervisor signify and let us know that they have completed in their section you just wave your flag we'll be able to see that you are done at my left hand side and the right hand side please over there at the back if you are finished please signify and let us know yes supervisors we are waiting for you and those of you who are not 
are counseling or you are not being counseled everyone begin to talk to the lord be in an attitude of prayer expecting express your faith in the lord for what you have as a challenge the almighty god will not pass you by you saw that man as a father in the lord showed us the man acted his faith and his friends acted their faith out and jesus could see that faith begin to commit yourself to the lord before our father in the lord will come back to release the power of god to roll away your miracles and you are not going back with those miracles i told you this is the final with those problems you are not going away with them this is the final bus stop of those challenges you are having wherever they may be it may be a relative you are standing in proxy for at the hospital wherever they may be at home god almighty will touch them because the power of god knows no barrier wherever you are begin to commit yourself to the lord counselors we are waiting for you once you are done let the supervisors signify to us and then our father in the lord will be coming back yes by my left hand side can i get a signal right hand side please let's be fast in writing but let's write correctly and also properly let's do it quickly let's do it quickly the power of god is going to touch you wherever you are supervisors we are waiting counselors let's be fast let's do it quickly quickly yes at the back you signify once you are done and the rest of us let's remain in an attitude of prayer your miracle is around the corner now at the back okay thank you right at the middle there counselors have you finished at the middle towards the front okay get ready for your miracle the almighty god is going to touch you as our father in the lord comes the problems and the challenges will be rolled away amen my problems will be rolled away my sickness will be rolled away say it for yourself okay say it so we can hear and remember and remember the man put his faith into action and he put his faith into expression because faith without action is dead and dead faith don't move anything like dead men don't move anything it's when we put the faith into action the man did what he couldn't do before he arose he took up his bed and he walked and he went forth before them all and as we pray when you hear the name of jesus and you hear the final 
amen at that final amen you put your face into expression your face into action and you do what you are not able to do before you have a testimony tonight in jesus name amen. now identify the problem you have online social media television over the radio anywhere you are any part of the world and here in lusaka the alpha location identify the problem in the head in the body and you couldn't walk maybe the legs or the eyes identify the problem and lay your hand where the problem is where the sickness is where the paralysis is where the blind eyes are and where the tumor is where the growth is lay your hand there and then we're going to pray now at the mention of the name of jesus Jesus, that infirmity that sickness that paralysis that blindness that deafness will vanish away and when we hear the final amen the miracle is there already and then you will rise and do what you are not able to do before lay your hand where the problem is and raise up the other hand miracle is coming healing is coming deliverance is coming now father in jesus name yeah. we thank you because we know you're still a mighty god you have promised and your promise will not fail and you have given us jesus our healer our savior our redeemer our deliverer and the miracle worker in every life lord i pray that your mighty power will touch everyone now in jesus name i pray lord any challenge any problem any pain any infirmity from the top of the head to the tip of the toe for everyone here for everyone over there everywhere touch them heal them deliver them now in jesus name that madness that insanity i command you come out in jesus name i pray for all the swelling in the neck at the back in the tummy and near elephantiasis i pray the lord touch you right now all the swelling come out in jesus name incurable long-standing sickness that cancer be healed now in jesus name also be healed now in jesus name and breathing problem asthma be healed in jesus name hypertension be healed in jesus name i pray for bleeding that have been there all these years i pray lord the lord touch you now be healed in jesus name the pal there you are healed in jesus name and lord i pray that any pain in the bone any pain in the head migraine be healed in jesus name and those who could not see each or stand lord i pray you touch them now and that pain and that infirmity i pray lord will vanish away now in jesus name those blind eyes glaucoma cataract whatever i pray the lord will touch your blind eyes and your dim eyesight be healed in jesus name deaf and dumb I command be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray anyone everyone I pray over here over there you manifest your power right now and bring definite miracle of healing and deliverance to everyone thank you Lord I know it is done and we'll see it and we'll rejoice together confirmation in every life manifestation demonstration in every life even now in Jesus name I pray Amen it is done 
you check yourself and what you couldn't do before you will begin to do and when you see the miracle right there you leave where you are and you come as a national overseer will direct you we have testimony from you coming tonight in jesus name 